Hello and welcome to another edition of the warm up. This one presented by US Plastics and we are in Alanis to talk Alanis football and who better to do that than head coach Mike Abbey. Coach, how you doing? Thanks for letting us come out to practice. Seems like a beautiful day for oh, two days. Beautiful. It was almost too nice this morning, but uh, we got a little sweat rolling here before it was all said and done. Sounds like the guys are going to do some running later in the day. Yeah, yeah. We um we our our morning practice is our defensive practice, and uh, we were just in a couple groups a little longer than I wished, and then you guys are out here, so uh, we usually condition a little more in the first practice, and the second one is a little bit uh, easier at the end. But uh, always ready to change things up. That's the way you got to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Overall, how's training camp going so far? Pretty uh, early on. Yeah. Good. How's it going? It's going great. It's really going great. Uh, had another one show up today, uh, a move in from Florida. So he made 48. Uh, so obviously he's got some learning to do. But uh, we average probably about 35 guys most days, I think, all summer long. And uh, uh, it's been a great summer for us. We are probably uh, physically as strong pound for pound as we've been. Uh, our boys have really put the time and effort in in the weight room, that's for sure. Uh, it started a few years ago, and uh, when these guys were, were underclassmen, and they've really just towed the line with it, and it's uh, at the highest level uh, the weight room-wise has ever been since I've been here 16 years, 17 years. So uh, definitely got to give the seniors credit for getting in there and uh, making it fun. Coach Shell, my offensive coordinator and line coach, he does a great job with our off-season conditioning and uh, weight program, and definitely that should help us this year. It should be a big, big plus. Guys got some experience last year, 3-7 three and seven three last and seven year, but last you guys year. played some some close games, and – Went on a nice little run in the league there in the middle of the season. What, yeah. what do you take away from last year and what can you build upon? Well, obviously, um, you know, we played better at times last year. Um, we still, the consistency level of it all. Um, and obviously we need to improve defensively. Uh, I think we, we averaged uh, like 30 points a game, but unfortunately we gave up like 36 points a game or something like that. So uh, that's been a main focus all, all summer. And uh, here in the last couple of weeks, we made a few changes and definitely some excitement in, uh, on that side of the ball this year. Uh, um, like you said, I think, I think uh, we've lost, we lost to six playoff teams last year. I know for me and being around coaching football for 20 some years, I've never been involved in a team that lost, you know, and a couple of close heartbreakers. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, we lost two or three games by two or three points and right there but we also won a game or two by that many so uh, consistency from the beginning to the end not just finish but we got to start games too. come out and play from the very beginning and uh, offensively we have to stay consistent to what we've kind of been doing the last couple of years we're adding a few wrinkles to the offense and defensively we have to improve Let's talk about the offense for a second okay. because you guys have a strong ground game and you're returning a lot of, uh, I think it's three all-league mm -hmm. running backs. So yeah, are you yeah. looking to them to carry the load? We got Caleb Smelser, Spencer Miller, Logan Schick, all returning. All returning guys, yeah. They're going to be in a little bit different role. Uh, Spencer uh, has moved to quarterback this year. Oh, has he? Spencer, uh, he was an uh, honorable mention, I think, special teams player or mm -hmm. something like that, and he's a special player, let me tell you. And we're going to try to utilize that and show that this year. Uh, we're going to be back in the gun a little bit more that's something we started with him last year at the end of the season and kind of incorporate that you know we got it started last year so we could really dive into it this year in the offseason and the kids have really bought in to that and being back in the gun maybe a little bit more we're still a wing team wing t team a hybrid with a lot of motion and people moving all over the place but uh but logan schick yeah second team uh fullback and he's going to be back there at fullback again and and uh, he was all league and uh, on defense too for us last year so both sides the ball Logan's definitely one of our leaders and uh, uh, Caleb Smeltzer ended up kind of being being the back that uh, was kind of like the dark horse last year but he could really did a real great job running our buck sweep and planting his foot and Spencer was on the front side of that blocking and I know that made a real big difference too so but yeah with all three of those guys back in the backfield uh, we do got to replace a couple boys up front yeah. but uh, uh, we're working at it my uh, my center has been I think this is his third year starting at center so all Austin Louth has done a great job, and he's going to be uh, he's going to be the the center of uh, everything in there, making our line calls. And those guys have worked real hard in the off season too. So, but we definitely got to fill a couple spots. And then uh, uh, one of our returning guards, Logan Emmerich, he started last year for us there and played I think all ten games, and he's going to be another one. But we got a few spots, the uh, both tackles and another guard and our tight end, all all people that we need some new guys to step up, and we're looking for people to fill those spots. 
Well, you got some time to figure it out. We got yes, week we, one yeah. coming up on the 28th at Van Buren. That's, yes. a, that's a tough opener. What do you want to see this team improve upon before you take the field week one? Oh, well, we just have to keep coming together. You know, we're still just running around in helmet and shoulder pads. We haven't really tackled a thing yet. And, and uh, you know, obviously we need to keep com improving on defense. Uh, just here a couple weeks ago, uh, brought in Coach Cam Staley to call our offense, and, or our defense, call our defense. So, so Coach Staley is our defensive coordinator this year. And and uh, so we have a little bit of an identity now to us. And uh, we're going to be in a three front, uh, running a three five and blitzing and coming off the edges. And I tell you what we've got all kinds of things happening on the defense the boys are really learning up and uh, uh, you know offensively we have to just keep scoring points you know and that's one of the things that we've been halfway productive as as a, as a football team the last few years but uh, we need to we have to be consistent from beginning of the game to the end 48 minutes of playing good hard football that's definitely something that you have to do at, during all games but especially in league games how do you see the NWC shaking out this year four teams made the the, half the league made yeah. the playoffs last year. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, it's it's always a tough football league. That's for sure. Um, we start on a Saturday over at Stadium Park, so mm -hmm. uh, we get one of the big tests right off the bat on a Saturday. Um, uh, you know. We're hoping to have a nice start. Like, you, you know, the Van Buren, they're going to be probably spread and stuff. And when we get into league play, sometimes that's a little bit different. You know, we have some spread teams, but you'll get some of the teams that will buckle right down in there. Delphus Jefferson has had our number defensively. They've shut us out here the past couple seasons, and uh, we haven't – done very well against them so definitely something that we need to improve on when we get into the league is just to be physical I, I I'm sure the first three games won't be as physical as that first Saturday will be in uh in Delphus that day uh but uh um, our kids are looking forward to it. You know, our goal is to be NWC champs, and uh, if we're NWC champs, I'm pretty sure we'll be playing week 11. So, uh, um, and, and that's obviously something big important to us too. Uh, but we got to get on the winning side of things. You know, we were four and six a couple years ago, just a step back last year at three and seven, but uh, so many close games that uh, our guys are hungry, and I and I've seen that in the off season work and preparation, and they're definitely. Uh, they definitely look like some studs. Now, if we can go out and tackle and block and tackle, that's going to be the difference. Well, best of luck. Thanks for letting us come out to practice. We need to take a time out here on the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastics. But when we return, Mark Koontz is going to chat with some of the Mustang players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Store. I'm Mark Kuntz. As we continue to talk Allen East football, joined by a trio of Mustang seniors, Logan Schick, Austin Loth, and Logan Emmerich joining us now. And I guess we'll start with you, Logan Schick. Coming off of a, a solid junior season, does that put pressure on you personally for your senior year? Uh, no, I'm just going to go out and just play as hard as I can, see if we can have another good year. Austin, we know Alan East has to replace several guys off of last year's line. You're one of the key returnees on that line. How's that line coming together? Uh, we got a few guys that are really working hard, trying to fill those positions, and uh, I think we're going to do all right. Logan Emmerich down on the end now. What have you seen so far out of Alan East? Seen us uh, working real hard in the weight room, on the field, just going out there and getting our work in. Logan. Coach Abby's been in charge of the program a few years now, and he, he talked about how he's starting to see what he implemented a couple years ago really start to pay off with that off-season workout. Is that something you guys have seen from the players' perspective? Yeah, we've been Monday, Wednesday, Friday coming in, working out real hard. Austin, talk us through defense a little bit. Uh, made some changes last year defensively. Camp Staley back now helping out the defense this year. What can we expect defensively out of Allen East? Uh, like Coach said, we got an identity to us now, and uh, – Coach Staley coming in, uh, he's working us real hard. Uh, we're going to be real good on defense this year. Logan, what is that defensive identity? Uh, we're in more of a 3-5 look now. More skilled guys and linemen this year. So I um, have a lot more speed on the defensive side of the ball, and hopefully that will work good for us. Austin, what are the goals for this year's team? Uh, our main goal, NWC champs, and make it to week 11. All right, last time Alan East was in the postseason was 2006. These guys were eight, nine years old, but they had that in their back of their mind to get the Mustangs back to the postseason. We're going to take a break here on the U.S. Plastic Store warmer, but we return more from Allen East here on WOS. <laughs> 
Welcome back to the warm-up, joined now by Luke Perkins, Spencer Miller, and Caleb Smelzer as U.S. Plastic Store presents this edition of the warm-up. And Luke, what have you seen from Alan East? I know you've only had a few practices in the books right now, but is there optimism for the Mustangs coming off of last year's tough 3-7 and seven season? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we put a lot of hard work in. Right now we're doing a lot of learning. You know, we're not quite to full hitting and stuff, but a lot of learning, a lot of hard work. Coach is really working us hard. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Spencer, a lot of talk this year in the state of Ohio about guys going from quarterback to receiver. You're doing the opposite. You're going from receiver to quarterback. Played quarterback quite a bit at the end of last season, but now that you've had a full off season, now you're starting to feel more comfortable in the quarterback position. Uh, yeah, we were working it a little bit last year throughout the year, and then all through all, all off season, I was working on it a little bit, throwing a little bit around, so I'm feeling comfortable with it now. Caleb, have you seen Spencer get a little more comfortable at quarterback? Uh, yeah, I have. He's been working really hard this summer. Been throwing pretty good passes. Caleb, we know we got a pretty loaded backfield with you as well as Logan Schick coming back, but the backfield is only going to be as good as the offensive line. Some new guys on that line, have you seen them start to come together pretty well? Uh, yeah, they have. Um, there's They've been in the weight room a lot. They've gotten a lot stronger, so we got a little bit quicker of a line this year. We'll see how it goes. Spencer, let's talk defense a little bit. Cam Staley back on the defensive sideline for you guys this year. Former head coach here. He's got great experience. What does he bring to the to team? He, bring, he brings a lot of intensity, and he knows he knows the game of football, and he knows what we need to do to win. Luke, a couple of weeks before that opener, as you guys hit the road to take on Van Buren, a playoff team last year, what needs to be accomplished by Allen East before that week one game? Uh, by that week one game, we're looking to – Know all of our plays, you know, young guys getting in. Uh, we got a lot of hard work to do still, a lot of learning. Uh, I think we're going to be ready. You know, we got good competition going on for spots, and we're going to be ready. You know, the Northwest Conference, like several other conferences in the area this season, moving to a 7 o'clock kickoff as opposed to 7.30, does that matter to you guys at all? No. No, uh, not really. It, it'll take a little bit, you know, just changing schedules around, but we'll be ready for kickoff. And the Allen East Mustangs will kick off against Van Buren, as we mentioned. We'll also be at Delphus Jefferson to begin NWC play, a game you'll be able to see here on at WOSN. Guys, before I let you go, let's talk a little about the NWC this year. Conference is finally a little bit solidified where all your conference games are going to come in a row, weeks 4 through 10, as opposed to being sporadic. What do you think the NWC is going to look like this year? We'll, we'll start down at the end with Caleb. Um, uh, Delphus has got a lot of kids coming back. Um, Crestview, they lost some guys, but I think they'll still be pretty solid. They've always been pretty solid, and WC always has been. Spencer, where do you see yourselves fitting into uh, I think there's a lot of good teams, but I think we can compete with all of them, and if we just go out there and play our game, we can win any game. All right, that's going to do it for us today on the wrap-up, the warm-up, wrapping up the warm-up by U.S. Plastic Store. I want to thank all of our guests. For Matt Fickle, I'm Mark Goods. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.